It's like just when you can get a feel for Florencia's build or his style, he, you know, he mixes it up even within. So he starts out with the same concept, but he has, there are so many different tributaries. In the bottom right corner, we have the blue Protoss using the Purifier skin, which is the best skin objectively. We have Florencio, who's going to do something weird. He pulls back his entire army across the entire map to try to defend his base. I think he needed to, to go for a base trade. I think that, that was his only hope, was to go for a base trade here. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Because and look at this, Flore <laughs> Florencio just oh. recalls. Unbelievable. Okay. Yeah, it, it, well, until, until you realize you're playing against Florencio. <laughs> but I mean, okay. Florencio is just going to go put it down right at the natural. I would not, for any amount of money, make a bet on what he's going to do in any particular game. <laughs> as soon as I'm like, Proxy Nexus, he's going to be like, no, rush Tempest on one uh -huh. base. Yeah, yeah, right? He just he takes out the Terran base at will and then just heads out. And he isn't even risking his own army through these maneuvers. And he just recalls everything, so he even recalls the probes, which are going to be able to fight too, but I mean, he can mine from this Nexus. He's basically done a forward fast expand. And there's the gateway thrown down in the main Nick Winters. Oh, a second gateway, a third gateway! Wait, right the Terran's face! Holy shit, this is Kiki. Oh, Florencio! <laughs> Florencio, where's your warp gate at, man? I mean, look, who needs warp gate when all you need are these uh, Protoss tech buildings like Robos and Stargates? Uh, do you see a gateway that he... Okay, there are two gateways in the main, but... Yeah, there's two, two gateways he built since the start of the game. Still only two, uh, two probes and gas and no cybernetic score just yet. This leads me to believe that Florencio is not going to commit to this. I think he's going to commit to, uh, to something else at home. I mean, obviously he's not going to be making- Oh, <laughs> what? Are you serious? I was just about to say he's going to commit to something else at home because he's not going to be making zealots. He's not going to do a zealot rush, that's for sure. He's going with a proxy nexus. And no, folks, this is not Heart of the Swarm. He cannot overcharge the Nexus. I think I, I think I know what he wants to do. I think he wants to build the Mothership Core from this Nexus. I'm pretty sure that's what he wants to do. And of course, he has this pylon here. It's going to be another pylon here. So the Photon Overcharges in this location are going to be really powerful. Cybernetics Core is done at home. I'm guessing Warp Gate will be researched. Florencio's got to find a path to- Oh, Jesus Christ, Florencio. <laughs> what is this base? <laughs> this is just madness. Why Absolute. that one? No, 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 like, why there's not? a whole world of choice. That, why? Because that base doesn't get enough love, Sonny, that's why. 1 minute 15, he got 3. This thing this is the- This is the most aggressive proxy gateway I've ever seen. This is just a fuck you on building a base in your base. I love this play from Florencio, starting off with the Oracles, then moving into the Void Rays, and now the ultimate late game Carriers. And all the while, even though going for these cheesy compositions, expanding and expanding and expanding. I'm not sure we're going to get that far, but I'm calling it right now. There's going to be a Mothership Core coming out from this proxy Nexus. There it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I've been watching too many Florencio games. I'm starting to understand the, the methods behind the madness. <laughs> uh, I freaking love it. Uh, I love it only because I'm not playing against it. Oh my, this is just so stressful. Because you just have no frame of reference for what to do. Moving up into the main base, the ranged roaches are able to attack. The zealots turn around and fight the zerglings. But these roaches are going to be able to do well. Oh no, but one roach getting picked off and surrounded. A second roach surrounded. 
You have to be very careful with the micro against these zealots as Florencio knows how to do it perfectly. Here we go, targeting down the queen. But there's already spine crawlers and roaches here. It doesn't really matter how cost effective these zealots are. Spine crawlers and roaches, there's no way that they're going to break through all this defense. The Zerg player has way too much. It's a numbers game at this point. And oh my gosh, pulling up the zealots, and here we go. More zealots coming in. Uh, six zealots on that side, and two zealots coming into the gold base while these zealots leap those roaches into the main. These two zealots, and again, able to deny the mining on that gold base. So, uh, yes, the Zerg player does have the gold, but if he's not mining from it, it's not going to be helpful. Meanwhile, oh my god, that spine crawler tried to be ruined, and it got picked off. And these zealots here are now denying the mining into the main base. The roaches are killing them, but very slowly the zealots run away. The roaches trying to chase them, but not keeping up with them. What have you ever seen this? Zealots running away from roaches and leading them away, totally outmaneuvering the Zerg player. Here we go, four zealots kill another roach. How many roaches have these zealots killed? It's absolutely insane. Focusing down these Zerglings, but more roaches showing up. Surely he'll deal with them, but these drones are getting picked off. The focus fire on the drones. Oh my god, so many drones are dying here. Florencio is getting some serious damage done, though it does not surprise me. I think he got... I mean, he definitely got a majority of the Marines. Still no Warp Gate. I know Florencio just doesn't, uh, doesn't research Warp Gate all that often. I think if he could have squeezed it in and Chrono boosted... These gateways are staying up an awful long time, though I hate to get uh, second guess the, uh, the the mad scientist, the evil genius. So I, I believe he knows very well what he's doing. <laughs> he's making another mothership <laughs> from this nexus that just won't go away. <laughs> the third <laughs> photon overcharge goes down. Florencio, this is just insane. I know you're watching this VOD on YouTube right now, and this is insane. You are a cruel, cruel individual. I was fairly certain that our constitution protects against builds like this, but apparently I'm wrong. Some, the, someday, somehow, you will be tried for war crimes, though. If this is not against our constitution, it is certainly against the Geneva Code. It's against something. It's against humanity. You should not do this. This is not decent, Florencio. I beg of you. <laughs> we have a cannon rush, or at least a cannon. Uh, we, of course, as his opponent, have a Zerg. Who knows that the Protoss sometimes do this. Oh, are you seeing this? Oh. And getting a, uh, a spawning pool first. Uh, so he is well aware that some people do cannon rushes and uh, is reacting accordingly. Hasn't done so much yet. Uh, he's just building Zerglings and going for an early attack on his opponent and is now going to find out that he is in a uh, possibly big problem. That is a pylon you're attacking. That is the one. Cannon. No, there's two cannons. All right, this should give you enough surface area to attack this one. And this photon cannon is going to go up and start picking away at these Zerglings. All right, let's see. Zix Zerglings lost versus a pylon. I wasn't paying too close attention. I was still just in shell shock from this madness. <laughs> Are you kidding me? A third mothership going from this nexus. Oh my goodness. And in the top of Frost, it's our red protest player. He is bear slap slap soap. It's Florencio. Gas heavy after the non opening. And actually, what the sh. What? That. That is a nexus. That's that is a proxy nexus and mothership core stalker on the way. This is this might be hilarious. There's, this is gonna be actually difficult. There's not really enough firepower to deal with this. He was building a tech lab. Uh, he may even want to go ahead and just build. I don't know. Marauder, yeah, he's going for Marauder just so they can kill that. But now a mothership core is here and mothership core is gonna be able to take out the marines. And uh, now there's a stalker and a mothership core. There's a CC's finished up on the low ground, but he's got nothing. He has absolutely nothing. He has to pull SCVs to deal with this, but he's only have two uh, two Marines at most to fire up at the Mothership Core, and the Stalker is still alive. Uh, 
So, uh, proxy nexus. Uh, it works. It works when you're it. I don't know. I guess it just works. I can't believe that actually this is working. But it's going to. And a second cyclone comes out. That's. I think that's going to be the last cyclone for a long time now. Especially with three SCVs, and that number is dwindling. Florencio has enough resources to make yet another mothership port if he so chooses. And Frost absolutely has to keep every single unit alive. I have a feeling we're going to see another mothership core, sir. In fact, Probe is cancelled to get out that mothership core all the more quickly. If the pylons go down, this rush is dead. So the mothership core is going to come out, might actually be able to get another kill on this cyclone. In fact, if it's not repaired, he will. He will get a kill on that. Yeah, Frost knows that that unit is absolutely vital. He has no gas, though. Florencio can recall, if he so chooses, more pylons going down from the probes that are naturally being built in Frost's base. This, this could be the craziest Florencio game I've ever seen. This one is not- and another overcharge goes down! It will not quite get the Cyclone, though. Another Mothership Core is on the way, and there are still four pylons in this base. As long as this Nexus is up... As long as the Nexus is up, I mean, I, I don't know how this is going to go away now. There are going to be two Stalkers coming out shortly. Okay, that's actually a really clutch pickoff. These Cyclones have to get the heck out of there, and Fl uh, Florencio is going to trigger the Overcharge right now wisely on the uh, the pylon that was farther away from the Cyclones. It would be very easy to sort of intuitively go for the one that's closer, but he made the smart move, went for the one that was farther away. This is absolutely nuts. Another Stalker is out, but it will go down. The Nexus will finally go down as well, but not before another pylon comes up. Florencio is just biding his time until one more overcharge does come down. The Stalkers are actually working on the Orbital Command Center now. Now keep in mind, Florencio is mining out of his only base. This is as one base all in as it gets, even though he did technically build a second base. <laughs> the two base, one base all in. The Stalkers are actually cleaned up, but another overcharge goes down and I don't think they're... Uh, the pylon goes up to I was about to say there isn't enough uh, repair. It's not called repair DPS. What is it? Like repair points per second? I don't even know. The mothership core is going to kill the final marine. I think that's going to do it. I think Florencio has done it. Oh my goodness. Nexus is going to finish up. Mothership core is going to have enough energy for an overcharge. Then overcharge is going to reach really, really far into the main base here. Uh, first marauder is out. Uh, first marine is going to be poking out against this, but now the mothership core is going to overcharge, and what the heck do you do against that? Uh, I don't think Teflon really, really knows what to do. Uh, I was talking earlier about not seeing much cheese. This is definitely something impressive. At the very least, this is the most impressive cheese I've seen uh, this season. Uh, it looks like it, it may work. At the very least, it's going to kill off a lot of workers. Uh, he's only got he's adding out a few more gateways behind this as well, so you start working in. Uh, and he's retained all of his stalkers and retained the motion core. Overcharge isn't able to hit anything else now. Uh, and one is it one stalker gets surrounded there. So now we're on just the one stalker. Uh, but he's killed off nine workers. It's 21 workers to 12. <laughs> Technically two Nexus versus two CCs, I guess. Gateway research is about to finish up. There's gonna be three gateways. And there's gonna be absolutely zero units out to deal with this. Force even has a ton of money. Uh, but that doesn't really matter when your opponent has absolutely no income. Uh, and you're just going to start warping in a bunch of units here in a moment. Force three stalkers warping in. Uh, tough one, just, I don't even know. I, I just, I just, I just do not even know. 